Good evening, friends, or afternoon, depending on the time zone you're in. The day is Sunday, January. I don't really even know. Uh, this is a really low effort stream today. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have my green screen set up. We're playing a game called Shadows of Doubt. I don't know a whole lot about it. I played it for like an hour. It is a procedurally generated city mystery solver. It's got NPCs and talking to NPCs and committing crimes. So it's right up my alley. So if you're not down for that, you're wondering, hey, why the hell isn't it an Elder Scrolls stream today? Why aren't we playing Skyrim or Fallout? Well, I didn't really feel like it today, to be honest. Actually, no, it's just, it's nice to every now and then do one of these streams. I've gotten this game recommended a lot as well. Is that in the right spot? Ah, uh, see, there's always a little piece. There's always a little piece right there. Thank you, kind sir. Fix that. There we go. How we doing, everybody? Good to see y'all. Van Beer and I appreciate it. Thank you for 10 months. Kerpels, thank, thank you so you much for 11 sir. months. I was about to say it's almost been Hi, a year. Juvime at work by Juve. I'll see you on the VOD channel. Absolutely, no problem. This one won't be on the VOD channel for... There's this side's open. This f***ing thing, man. I swear, I gotta mess with my green screen for like an Thank hour you, before every stream. Juve, what's good? Have a good birthday. I did. So... We actually went, I went with my family to, uh, you know, a nice restaurant, real bougie place. You know, one of those places where the appetizers are incredibly expensive, but you get like half a bite for each one. And I got to be honest. I got to be honest. I was, uh, the appetizers were so small. I was like, come on. Come on, what do you, what do you, what else you got for me? Uh, the the main courses were great, they were great, but if I ever went back to this place, skipping the apps, I'm skipping the apps for sure. Um, but thank you very much. Who was that? What did I miss? Circus Witch, thank you very much for four months. Van Buren, thank you again, and Kerpels, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I I have a brief. PowerPoint presentation. It's not long. I'm not even going to like go through it. Um, but I did. It's like a very brief surface level rundown of what Shadows of Doubt is. I don't even have enough experience really to go in depth with it. I'm still very new to it. I only played it for like an hour yesterday just so I could understand it. Uh, but I think it'll be a really good time. Also, it has Twitch integration. So I think all the NPCs in the game can just be Twitch chatters, which could be pretty fun. Which means like somebody in chat will be the murderer. Someone will be the victim. <laughs> I don't really know exactly how it all plays out, but we'll see. But I wanted to do a chill Sunday. I like chill Sunday streams. Thank you, kind sir. Seven months, I'm getting weird cravings like pickles and milk. Name coming soon. That confused me so much at first, I didn't realize you were talking about a Twitch baby. Uh, Common Ninja, thank you very much for seven months. Yeah, uh, pickles and milk, though? Is that an actual pregnancy craving? Pickles and milk at the same time? Uh, thank you, everybody, again, for making, at least on the live streams themselves, the Chaos Mage series was, I think, our biggest series of streams that we've ever done, which is weird. I wasn't really expecting that. It seemed like people really, really enjoyed it. Um, but, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we've, I'll probably be in, like, full production mode for the video project on Monday. But I think we got a lot of great moments and really cool stuff going on. Uh, and thank you. There was a lot of 
or maybe not a lot, but there were a few people that mentioned finally getting here live. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, who came over from the VOD channel. Oh, d d so day three of the Chaos Mage, the best day of the four we did. I just uploaded it, and it got limited ads. I don't know how many times. I probably swore way too much in like a five second interval. I really need to settle down with that because it started to it start. I'm starting to like having like I, it's like an actual swear jar. Like if, if I have a moment on stream where I say bleep, bleep, bleepity bleep. Uh, it, it is like a real swear jar. It, it is a very. Uh, <laughs> it's, no, I mean, there are sometimes like if you noticed, if you did watch the um, dumb Elder Scrolls ideas video. Uh, it was during the escorting Tom sequence where I did have to bleep out quite a few of them because there were a lot. Yeah, every now and then there are times where I do, I do, you know, I'll be like, all right, it's getting a little crazy. And sometimes a censored F-bomb just sounds time, funny. Five months. Been VOD sleeping lately, but good to catch recent streams. River, thank you very much for five months. Um, what else do I have? Oh, 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 do you guys want an update on uh, the rooftop climber? Do you guys remember when I told you all about that kid that was on the roof right outside my window while I was sleeping? So, I caught him two nights ago. I watched it happen, and it was snowy outside, so there was an entire evidence trail going down the roof. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. Ooh, time out one sec. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? On you, sweet Redundant, thank you very much for gifting five subs to the channel. To Evola, Trap Shutter, Nerd Fighter, Number Again, and Mint Tux, the fourth. Thank you, everybody. Or thank you. Thank you just to Redundant T. Give me one sec. I left the fireplace on downstairs. I gotta go tick that off. Maybe grab a coffee. I'll let y'all hang out with Chair for like two seconds. I'll finish this story. And then we'll jump into mystery crime solving, committing crimes to solve crimes. I don't know, exclamation point rules if you want like a brief rundown of what this game's about if you have no clue. What music do you get? I guess you just get jams. I need more jams. We should, uh, I should have a channel on the Discord server where people can like submit video game tracks. Or, or we just do an entire stream that's all about just getting tunes. Okay, so, sorry to keep you all waiting. You know what, actually, maybe it's all of you guys thirsting over a chair. Maybe that's what gets the VODs uh, <laughs> claimed or gets them uh, ad limited. 
Hold on, I have to turn off. Boop, boop, boop. And boop, gotta turn that off. So, all right, here's the update on, uh, on the roof climber. If you've got no idea, I'll give you the brief history of it. Maybe a month ago, I was going to bed around 4 a.m., fairly delirious after finishing up a video project and seeing, and, and you know, just, you know, being really, really tired, kind of cramming, trying to finish up this project. And I'm going to bed around 4, super delirious, kind of out of it. I finally, I just start kind of dozing off to sleep. And I hear what kind of sounds like a like a zipper right outside the um, right outside my window. And I have my window cracked open with the blinds up about six inches. Oh, fuck. Nine months. Uh, language. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt. Congratulations. What are you naming it? And I look out my window and I see this kid climbing the roof. I mean, three feet from my face outside the window. Which, when you're in your home, and you see somebody coming towards you, it is terrifying. It is absolute, like, in that moment, I accepted, I was like, this is it. I'm getting broke, my house is getting broken into right now. I'm in my underwear. I'm dead. Uh, but then I realized about five seconds later, oh, it's, you know, the neighbor, and he's just sneaking back in. So ever since then, I've been waiting to, like, see it happen in action. This kid's sneaking out. And the next, or, or two nights ago, I hear all this shuffling. I hear all this noise right outside my window. I was laying down in my bed watching YouTube or something. I'm pretty sure I was watching like a two and a half hour Scott the Waz compilation <laughs> about like the history of the Wii U or something like, you know, something stupid but incredibly interesting. And I'm sitting there. I look out my window and it's snowing out. Is it like a 17-year-old kid or a 17-year-old? He's like 13 or 14, if I had to guess. Um, and I look out my window and I see him. He's on his butt, kind of shuffling down the roof. But we had about an inch of snow, so he left this big track going down the roof. I did get a picture of it. Uh, he slid down, slid down the roof, jumped down, and I watched him sprint across the shared parking lot, you know, that all the units have. I mean, sprinted. This kid was gunning it. And, like, I don't want to narc on the kid, because the walls of our shared complex aren't necessarily thin, but I've heard, you know, some fairly upsetting, loud conversations uh, that his father has had with him. And... Probably, probably a reason why the kid feels the need to sneak out. But I do want to at least like kind of catch him in the act in a way because we know for a fact because it was snowing and we could see the footsteps. We know that when he jumps and it's like a dangerous jump, especially in the snow. It's not like the fall from the roof to the ground is not like it's not an easy landing. You know, if this was RuneScape, he would need at least like 65 agility. Uh, but he does land right outside of our front door. And I just want to catch him. I, I, I just want to like catch him and be like, hey, kid, look. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to narc on you. You know, I don't want you to get in a bunch of trouble. But like, A, having you out right outside my window when you're climbing and sneaking out is scary as shit. <laughs> like, like it's scary as hell, but also I don't want you to get hurt, especially in the, like in the winter when it's snowing and it's cold. But damn. Thank you. Anyway. Time, sir. Six months. Let's go space lemons. Thank you for half a year. Good to see you. All right, let's play this game. Actually, wait, hold on. I need to. I'll have to set up the audio on it. And I have way too many tabs of just other stuff I had open before stream. Why do I have File Explorer? Why do I have three? Okay, never mind. I thought I had three separate internet tabs open. I do not. Why is him a 7TV emote? What even is that? What's that from?
All right, I'm not 100% sure how we set up Twitch integration with this game. I'll try my best to figure it out. Oh, 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 okay, it's going to do that, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to do that. Nice. Remember, it is a... It is like an open world, procedurally generated city. What's cool about it is all the buildings, you can like explore them. You can go in every building, in every room, in every building. It, it, what's this game about? Ellie, if you want a brief rundown, exclamation point rules. But it is a very brief rundown. But essentially, it's like a procedurally generated city and you solve crimes in it. Wish I could watch the whole stream, but I have to go deep ocean fishing soon. That sounds badass. That's like, that's a lot. Oh, golly gosh, it's this game. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for keeping it PG. The, oh, the rules still send to Chaos Mage. My bad. My bad. Time out. That's on me. Skill issue. My bad. Let me set that up. I have to go to Nightbot and change the link that it leads to. All right, now try it. Now it should work. You think it'll be a new game, but it's just Skyrim again. I mean, it's... It's got NPCs that walk around and somewhat exist in this world. Okay, so there's two ways to do it, especially Crafted Case to introduce the game or Sandbox. I'm just gonna do Sandbox. Generate a city, yeah, we have to go random. Size medium, city name. Ooh. We can name our city? Moldova. That sounds like, uh, that sounds Russian. I know, that's why I have, I had to get my coffee. Oh, I need some cigarettes. If I want to be a real detective, I need cigarettes. Oh, pussy villa. <laughs> no. No, see, we're going to get ad limited again on the VOD channel. Bootyopolis? Come on. I need a Trilby. Oh, yeah, if I had some Marlboro, Marlboro Reds. Marketing City. That just sounds dystopian. Oh, I I mean, it's it. the game kind of has a cyberpunk vibe to it. So Night City would work. Balls City. Guys, can we come up with something? <laughs> Just call it Sky. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah, we're back in White Run. City size. Well, White White Run's pretty small, but we'll just go with medium. Enable City Editor. I don't know what that does. Now we'll leave that off for now. Player name. Uh, Inspector Gadget is kind of what I'm thinking of. Ooh. Detective Marlboro. Detective Marlboro. That's kind of hard to say. Marlboro? I just quit, quit, I just quit smoking tobacco on December 18th, LMAO, but you know what? I know damn well Marlboro Red still tastes like crap. Cassie, congratulations on quitting. I spelled detective wrong. Det detective shut up yeah this stream is sponsored by Marlboro the number one confirmed way to cure all of your ailments hmm 
Ooh, okay. Yump. Marlborough. Detective Menthols. <laughs> the Camel Crush. <laughs> Camel Crush. There we go. That's a good detective name. Game difficulty easy? No. I'm not playing on easy. We'll play on normal. Why would it why would it default to easy? Easy. Come on. Okay, gameplay settings. Is this where I can do enable procedural murders? Sure. Flickering lights. Now nah, we'll keep that off. Permadeath mode. Whoa. Skip intro. No, nah, I guess we'll keep the intro. Just in case. It looks like there are some light survival elements to the game as well. Sandbox mode starting apartment off. Thank you, kind sir. Let's see. Difficulty, your mom. Hey. Hey. Wasn't smoking actually believed to cure everything? Oh, yeah. I, I feel like smoking. Or I feel like everything at one point was going to cure everything. Snake oil. Cigarettes, cocaine. Now that I said that, we probably get hit with the yellow, the the yellow of death on the VOD channel. Thank yeah, it is super cool. Chat. I love I love a sandbox game that has a bunch of customizable options like that. Speaking of cigarettes, though, everybody knows that the best brand of cigarettes is Laramie. L-A-R-A-M-I-E. Is that what it's called? Radium pills? What would that do? I do not smoke. Also, Laramie is the brand of cigarettes in The Simpsons. It's a fictional cigarette brand. Scorp, thank you very much for gifting one to the channel. And Stickman, thank you for 11 months. Uh, I, I smoked when I was like 17 and 18. Because it was cool at the time. Would you like to enable the tutorial text to guide you through how to play? I'll keep that on because I think some of the flavor text that pops up could be useful for all of you guys. Also, I might need a refresher. It is the late 20th century. Oh, I didn't watch this. I accidentally skipped it the first time. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected megacorporation president in history, Starch Cola. Is that generated? I hope that's generated. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. That's totally generated. Yeah, the game's art style is awesome. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized Starch Cola enforcers. Okay, so Coca-Cola has enlisted Actual fucking, uh, like stormtroopers. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. The shadows of doubt. Oh! Called it. All right, Detective Camel Crush is in 6 p.m. Monday, January 2nd on Hopkins Street. Now, I don't know. When you first play the game, it slides a little note under your door, and that's how you start your first investigation. In sandbox mode, I'm not familiar with how it really begins. But the way the game kind of works is, you know, you get a case... And you have all the information. Like, if you talk to this person, they'll probably be an asshole, but I'll ask them for their name. 
Oh, we actually got her name. Okay, Matilda O'Brien. Now you get all this information about this NPC. And if you want, I'm pretty sure you can take any of the information that you collect. Uh, okay, she won't actually show up in there. But you can take certain pieces of information that you collect and kind of create your own case board. You can pin things up and you can draw, you know, you know, like the conspiracy type stuff. So you create your own case board as you go through whatever investigation you're doing. I don't really know, though, when starting the game off this way, how to just jump into an investigation. You either wait for murder or get some sight. Who, me? Stop hound. I haven't done anything. I just got here. Put up your dukes. Come on. You want to go? Yeah, that's what I calm down. Yeah, I'm the one that's got to calm down. Okay. All right. Well, something about a case board. Uh, you know what? Investigators always have to go. Yeah, let's just hit. Can I just call 911? No, not enough numbers. But like, I think the city directory contains pretty much every NPC that's in the city. Any items in the world can be inspected in detail using the inspect interaction. You can get cases from bars. Well, I mean, this is close enough, right? It's a little diner. Maybe I just have to ask them for rumors. Nothing out of the ordinary. What about you? Give me some information. I think you could just arrest someone. Yeah, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. How much for the door codes to this place? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Well, how much money do I have? I only have a hundred bucks and I only have five lock picks. So we might need to go and just commit some crime to get started. Oh, there's job boards. One sec. The game's just a tiny bit loud on my end. I'm sure it's probably okay on your end. I just need to turn it down just a tad. Uh, but the game does have Unreal vibes. Next to the phone in dinners and bars are the boards. Got it. Well, let's check again in here. Yeah, it looks like this is it. Apartment for sale, job listing. Okay, outsourced arrest required by IOTA Enforcer Division. Handcuffs required. Suspect may be armed and dangerous. Accept at own risk. Suspect details available on acceptance. Offering a reward of 1600 All right, let's take it. Pursue current objectives detailed in the job note. So we got that pinned on the board. To resolve this case, provide answers to the following. Suspect detail. Um, maybe I have to take the job listing to IOTA Enforcer Division to actually accept it. Telephone number acquired. Oh, okay, okay, so we got some of the details here. It looks like this is our suspect. Unknown. Green eyes. Glasses. No facial hair. There's a phone number on there. 569-1881. Did I just lose money? Whoever this is, I'm not interested. Well, evening, what's your name, kind sir? None of your ba oh come on man, <laughs> don't you ever accept call, uh, phone calls from strangers? 
Mind your own business. That's not going anywhere. By default, there will be an active murderer in the city. Oh. Oh, okay, so we got a murder case. Explore reported crime scene, 1101 Queens Mount Hotel. Well, don't they have actual cops to handle this? <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. 1101 Queens Mount Hotel. Looks like it's that one. You can bring up the map. That looks like it's just gonna take us to City Hall, but we should do that to start. We can get the murder resolution form, and this will, well, excuse me. Hello, ma'am. Do you know how dangerous this city is? You can't be doing, what? It's my job to protect this city. Get down from there. You are in violation of ordinance code C-27-9B. We banned levitation in like the third era. Get down. <gasps> <laughs> okay, 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 this is way more important than any murder. Did anybody see that? No, of course, I'm the crazy one. I'm the crazy one. Shiny Tomato, how are you? Oh, uh, you know what this game reminds me of? In terms of vibe, uh, who's that? Oh, they do, they think I'm the crazy one. They think I'm the crazy one. Because I saw the floating lady. Uh, it reminds me of The Wolf Among Us. In terms of just overall vibe. The Case of the Bloody Butcher. Alright, now we can... Is there anything I can really... Oh, resolve. Okay. What is the full name of the killer? Arrest the killer. So here's like the resolution form. This is where you kind of get paid. You have to have the name of the killer, whether or not you arrested them the evidence that places them at the crime scene, where the killer lives, and the murder weapon. But I don't have any other information really to go off of. I know what to do. Okay, I know what to do. We need to find the city directory. And we need to look for the building, the Queens Mount Hotel. I can find it. Would it be an H or hotel? Hmm. Maybe I can search it this way. Queens Mount Hotel, 1101 Queens Mount Hotel. There we go. Now we can pin this to the board. And now we can plot a route to it. Though I'd like to get rid of... I'd like to hide some of this off of the screen. I do not have handcuffs, okay. That's okay, we, we can manage without handcuffs. We can probably just knock them out. Is this it? Yeah, Queens Mountain Hotel. Okay, we need to get up to the 11th floor, 1101. Why am I entrusted with solving this crime? I love this. Riding the elevator and you can actually see the NPCs walking about the hotel. Uh-oh. Looks like it's already- Oh, hot God, don't ever do that, okay? I'm in charge of this investigation, who are you? Okay, so I'm certainly not allowed to go in there on my own. 
two cameras already. I wonder if I go to the floor below. I need to try and find a way to get into the ventilation system. I don't know anything about the victim in that room, and I have to find a way to get in there. Definitely not just going to knock out this cop. Let's talk to him, though. Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay. I bet there's a key under the doormat. No key. And the cop is going to leave. Oh, shoot. Writing on the wall. Can I somehow sneak in there with... The out the cop. I'm just gonna go for it. There's the victim. Okay, we got a fingerprint. Let's see what they got on him. Wound caused by a sharp object or blade. Okay, looks like a knife. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been slashed to death by a bladed weapon. I can determine the time of death is between 1745 and 1900, Monday, January 2nd. We don't even have a name yet on the person. So we've got... How they were killed, roughly the right amount of time that they were killed. Anything else? We have their fingerprints. That's good. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Oh, God, I'm getting shot at. Okay, we gotta go. Thank you, kind sir. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I'm not having fun right now. I'm a wanted man. I'm trying to do the right thing. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Open the door. Okay, it looks like they stopped following. I have to get back into that hotel room, though. Ah, uh, Breeze, thank you very much for two months. Mental Chatter, thank you for the 100 bits. Lies, Chapter 279B. Public contracting. Public procurements say nothing about... Oh, you're still going on about that? Ah, the break... Okay, so the breakers are in the basement. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. You're not even a real cop. I'm the real cop. God, this game does me... I need to... I'm already getting stressed. <laughs> I need a cigarette. Oh! Nice. There's a... There's a little diner in this place. Perfect. Thank you, kind sir. Perfect. Did they just fall over? <laughs> Did they just slip? I think they're hammered. After a rough first night on the job. Chased out by the fake Starch Cola Corporation. The only thing I have to go on is the entry wound by a knife. Seventeen forty-five, Monday, January second. I don't have a name, only a location, and a strange message on the wall. So, if I had to think about it, I want to try and get fingerprints of that message that was written on the wall. But I have to get back up into that room. Oh, this game is awesome. This game is so cool. What are you looking at? Sir, uh, no smoking indoors. <laughs> Can you play pool? Oh, please. Shoot. <gasps> Thank you, kind oh! sir. Give me a number between one and ten. Seven. Okay, all right. It's okay. I have one foot on the ground. This is legal. 
what? How did the how did my ball go in? I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Ah, oh, Suda, thank it's you very much. Intoxicating I'm a god. How can you kill Seven a is god? the most popular. Yeah, between one and ten. Also, Lauren, thank you very much for six months. And Suda, I appreciate that. Thank you. This game is so, so cool. It just is such a vibe. And in a weird way, if you play it alone and at night, it's eerie. It's not scary, but it is eerie. You know, and, and the, the mechanics of the world that are built around you, it kind of feels like you're being watched all the time, which is a really, really good feeling for this type of game. Okay, let's case the joint one more time. Getting in there is going to be hard. There's the room again. I'm just going to go for it. Bookshelf. Let's see if we can find anything related to them, like a wallet, maybe a key. An employment note. I know I'm not supposed to write this down, but I can't forget it again. 0574. Perfect. Looks like we got a password. 0574. We've got their safe right over here. I mean, look how bad the actual cops that are here. Whoa. The actual cops that are here couldn't figure that out. Hyun Ryang. Is that the name of the victim? Sync disks contain DNA sequences that can be installed at a sync clinic for special abilities and upgrades. So I'm not sure how that works really. Receive 10% more money. Okay, so it looks like these are Thank you, kind sir. Literal so upgrades. It expired and had to get back on the Juve train. Much luck to you into this new year, Juve. Red Eye Jedi, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We need to be careful, though. This door was already opened. So I could definitely see the cop that's in this hotel getting over here. See if we can find some money or something. You know what we need? We need... We need the fingerprint scanner. I want to try and check that writing on the wall out there. I'm going to need to try and get the lights off in that hallway, though. Alright, it looks like this side of the apartment is somewhat isolated from where the other cop is. Lipstick. Fingerprint type A. Okay, so we got more fingerprints of the victim. If I can find a second pair. Type A. Okay, we're probably not going to find the killer's fingerprints. I'm just going to shuffle around and see if she's got any cash. Another sync disc. My inventory's full. I doubt we're gonna find the murder weapon in this apartment. This is where the cop caught us. I'm gonna go for it. Type A. Damn, there has to be another finger. Ooh, what do we got here? Business card. Perfect. 
Didn't have what it takes. Promote me. They must be worthy. You should have heard him kill. Oh, he spilled gold. Crows dropping right at. At oh 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 hide. Oh, <laughs> leave me alone. Let me investigate. Whew. All right, I'm a professional. Ow, ow, ow. I think I got shot. Wrong way, wrong way. He's going that way. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got more information there. Did I get shot? This job is so goddamn stressful. Ooh. I need another smoke break. All right, we did we did get some information, but this business card doesn't give a lot of detail. We still don't even have a name on the murder victim. Didn't have what it takes. Promote me. They must be worthy. Does that match what was written on the wall? I was watching that TV. Ah, this is tough. I mean, I could probably take a look at like the sync discs I have. I don't really know how these work. Earn money for unique books read. Find a sync clinic to install, uninstall, and upgrade. Okay. So I need to find a sync clinic. Let's do that. I'm not taking the stairs. To be fair, that, that no, <laughs> I think that was a fairly reasonable reaction. I was sneaking around a crime scene, actively manipulating the evidence, stealing from the victim. I mean, that could point to a coworker of theirs being the murderer. I needed to get a wallet, though. I do agree. Whoever suggested hitting the breaker on the bottom floor of the building, it's probably the right play. Let's see if we can find a sink clinic somewhere nearby. I don't really know what to look for, though. Anybody know what a sink clinic looks like in this game, if you know? Now, we weren't able to figure out where they work. Oh, this looks like it. Yeah. Oh, it's snowing? What are you drinking? Coffee. It's the only thing uh, an investigator like me can drink right now. This case is really getting to me. Use a bed or chamber to... Why is everyone in this town floating? Seriously. So does each one have like two that I can choose? Street cleaner. Earn $2 for each item of trash disposed in refuse containers. What? So I get money for recycling? I guess we'll go with bookworm because it's more money. Are you sure you want to install the sync disk configuration? Once installed, the configuration cannot be changed without reinstalling another sync disk of the same type. Sure, let's do it. Receive $10 for exploring ventilation ducts. 
receive $5 for exploring new locations. I do like to go through the crawl space in the one hour I played this. But I'll probably just take the blanket five for new locations. Receive 10% more money for completing side jobs or increase inventory. I'm going to take the inventory. New inventory space is probably a bit better for me, seeing as I don't really know exactly what to do. You know, hoarding items is probably helpful. Earn up to $40 for four photographs of restaurant kitchens. Value decreases with hygiene level. Max one photo per company per day, or earn up to $40 for photographs of business bathrooms. I assume I need a camera to do that? Wait, so you can just like take a job? Like a complete side gig? I feel like I should be a bathroom ins- Oh, yes! Yeah, let's be- <laughs> Let's- Let's get a camera and be a bathroom inspector. I've never seen anyone hold a mug like that. That's because this is how you hold it when you're being inquisitive. When you're thinking about the evidence, the entry wound, the time of death, getting your estranged daughter back, you know, typical noir storyline type stuff. She'll never respect me. The lies that her mother spread about me. I gotta solve this case. If I ever want a chance at getting her back, I gotta solve this case. I guess it will... Why do I have to install hardware to be a bathroom inspector? It's like a boring version of cyberpunk. Sandevastan? No, 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 no. Hygiene inspector. I'm a chromed up gunk looking to... Uh, what's some other cyberpunk lingo? So we'll probably need a camera. No clue how to find one. What are you doing? What are you putting in there? Is that evidence? Screwdriver, looks like a murder weapon. Check it for prints. <laughs> Check this psychopath for prints. Type B. Now, it, all that does, if you have fingerprints, like the first set you find is gonna be type A. The second set you find will be type B, C. It goes on and on and on, right? It would be kind of wild though, if that was the murderer, we just randomly encountered them going to the, uh, going to the laundromat. I need to find money. Maybe I can panhandle. Excuse me, miss. Spare any change? I wouldn't give you the time of day. All right, nerd. <laughs> no, stop it. You're never getting your daughter back if you start punching strangers. Maybe I can sift through some trash. Oh, I should have taken that recycling gig. Maybe we need to just head back to the hotel again. There's gotta be something I missed in the room that I can still find. We got our upgrades, right? Oh, sweet. I was already at the building. I have to find a name. There's gotta be a wallet in the room. Narrate this like a 70s show about a retired. Do we need to bring back the uh, LA Noir uh, music? Actually, it would fit. Hold on one sec. This could work. <laughs> I need to put the whole stream in black and white.
Uh, da, 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 da. Give me one second here. This is going to take me a minute to set up, but I'll be able to do it. Okay, there, that's set up. Now I need to do one thing in OBS, which is... I need to... Hold on, hold on, hear me out. <laughs> Hear me, hear me out for a second, chat. I'm trying to set my camera to black and white. Thank oh, my you, sister just got sir. home. Hey, Hold on, Jude, I have to go close life. my door. Uh, Witty Guns, it's good, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Would it be color key? Oh, I did the wrong... Hold on, almost got it. No, I don't think it would be color key. Maybe it would. Thank you, kind sir. Here ah, I was, it. manning the front desk at the hotel. Eight months pregnant with a Twitch baby, but no rest for me. Then, he walked in. That strange investigator. Juf J. Jufson. Who, what are you talking about? Are you giving me lore? My investigator lore? One sec, I gotta close my door. Give me two seconds. No, 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 no. I'm figuring this out. I need to be immersed. I need to be fully immersed in the... Is it saturation? Ah, got it. Got it. There we are. Okay. Okay. We're good. And then we go to this one. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, no, that changed. Why did that change the original? Oh, God damn it. Why did that change the original? I fucked this up. All right, never mind. I'm upset. <laughs> it ruined everything. Ruined everything. I wanted to I wanted to be able to set it just to black and white. But now I can set this. Thank you, kind sir. I'm working from home all week, so hopefully I will get to watch more of your streams. 
I don't know how many will. We probably won't have a ton this week because I'll be doing a lot of editing and whatnot. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we're able to get a couple in. Ah, okay. And... Yeah, I messed it up. <clears throat> but now I at least have a button so I can play noir music. There, there. Now when I take my introspective smoke breaks, I can feel immersed in the detective lifestyle. Still have no clue what that says on the wall. I need to decipher the message on the wall. 9.16 p.m. Damn, I've already lost three hours. Maybe you're the killer. Maybe, maybe you're the killer. What do you have to say for yourself? What's your name? Nothing to do with you. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, oh, damn it. Is he going to see me if I go in there? Wait a minute. Somebody mentioned the breaker in the basement. You should smoke for real. I don't have cigarettes. There's got to be a wallet somewhere in the apartment. I'm just going to go in. Yeah, they won't see me. Got to be a wallet in here that I'm missing. <gasps> Cigarettes. Business card. Aeyong, Ryang. I mean, this has to be our victim. Hyun Ryang, floor manager. Ryang's manufacturing. Nice. Okay, we have a place of business. That's a good find. But I need to find photo ID. Uh-oh. That's not the one we want. Tobacco. Pipe. Got a lock pick. I already searched all those. Uh-oh, what's this? What do we got? That's a note. Shopping list. Dragon dog, fish and chips, five spice. I mean, at least we have handwriting here. Work road of floor manager. Okay, we got their work schedule. Ew, ew, why does it have to be connected to both? Now my whole thing just looks ugly. My conspiracy board does not look good. Videotape, what the hell, what did the videotapes do? What was he eating? Synth chicken? This guy's clearly a psychopath. Maybe he deserved it. Sponge. Ah, oh, let's check the trash. Maybe they tried to throw out the murder weapon. Nothing. Fire extinguisher. Another one. Xiao Hyun So. So we have two people confirmed in this place. That's actually a fairly big find. We have one dead body and we have two names. Hyun Rang. Wait, where was the other name? Hyun Rang and Xiao Hyun So. OK, 
Okay. So our next step, next logical step would probably be to try and check out their business where they work at. The only problem is it's almost midnight. We're gonna have to break in. I wanna do one more check in the room. Could this have been a crime of passion? Here we go, we got an employment agreement. This employment agreement is made as of 3-2-1976 by and between Hyun Ryang, the employee, and Ryang's manufacturing, the employer. The agreed amount... Oh, and wait a minute, we saw earlier... Hold on, hold on, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. We saw earlier the note left. I don't... I know I'm not supposed to write this down, but I can't... No, 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 that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, where was it? Didn't have what it takes. Promote me. They must be worthy. It's business related. We have two names that are now tied to this business, and we have... Let's check this again. Okay, Hyun Ryang is the employee. Ryang's Manufacturing is the employer. Is he being employed by himself? That doesn't necessarily make sense. Maybe that was just the generation getting a little bit confused there. We'll take the employment contract. We'll tie that to Hyun Ryang. So we still don't know if the victim is Seo Hyun So or Hyun Ryang. Strange. Okay. Are you guys just, is chat just going off, uh, <laughs> chat's going off about cat facts? Stick to the investigation. All right, this is serious. Somebody died. You don't understand how stressful this life is. A man or a woman is dead right now. And I'm the only one that can stop him. Ooh, cash. Nice. I need this more than you do. Have some respect for the recently deceased chat, all right? Is that a grenade? No, it's perfume. <laughs> Looked like a hand grenade. Let's keep checking the drawers, everything we can. Camera. You know what? I need that for my job. And another sync disc. Oh, sweet. More cash. We could take a break from the investigation and just go... Uh... If we take a break from the investigation, we, should, we could just go be uh, a health inspector or go inspect bathrooms. Computer could have some good information on it. We're definitely going to have to try and get into their computer. Now we have both of them here. Okay, we're in. We're on Riang's profile. Yes, we got a picture. We got photo ID. Hi, on Riang is not the victim. Okay, all right, that was a find. Fine Riang is not the victim. What if it's not Xiao Hyun So? Does that mean I'm a bad, <laughs> does that mean I'm a bad detective? <laughs> that goddamn song kills me every time. It's the perfect tune. All right, we need to find... Oh shit, the cameras are turned off. Let me double check this though.
All right, he's got more in here. Let's check what uh, Siohan So wanted to say to him. Hi, beautiful. I finally got that travel approval to go and visit my mother, but of course it's only valid for today, so I have to leave now and won't be home until later. Don't worry, and I'll see you later. Hey, beautiful. Just a note to say that I believe in you. Don't let them bring you down. Dear Hyun, our relationship engineers are undaunted by your claim that no one wants to date someone with an unfortunate odor issue, and we're delighted to say we have found a match for you. Other first name, it's kind of hard to read. You have a match. Okay, this is to Hyun Ryang. Who we know is not the victim. You have a match, dear Hyun. Our relationship engineers are undaunted by your claim that no one wants to date someone with an unfortunate odor issue. Okay, so Hyun Ryang smells like shit. I don't know what that has to do with the investigation. We are delighted to say we found a match for you. Other first name admits to having a terrible sense of smell and is eager to meet you. If you'd like to get started, simply reply to this email with your first payment of 50 credits and we'll float the idea for you. Your friends at V Love. It sounds like they were cheating. This was on January 1st. The last email is about Hyun Ryang. My theory right now, if I had to guess, is that Hyun Ryang was cheating on Seo Hyun So. The last message we got was from Seo Hyun So at 2.32 a.m. January 1st. Five hours later, Hyun Ryang got a message from a dating website. And these messages from before seem to indicate that they were together in a relationship. To me, it sounds like Hyun Ryang. If we can confirm that the dead body is Seo Hyun So, which based on what we were reading, she... <clears throat> Wait a minute, no. The, the way the email's read... Hold on, we need that evidence. I need to get that email back. The way that this read... Hi, beautiful. Seo Hyun So... That's just a strange way... I mean, it's not unheard of. Oh, crap. Is it out of paper? Oh, it's not. Okay. The only thing that confuses me, I mean, it, it's not unheard of to refer to a male partner as, you know, beautiful. Maybe I have this all wrong. Oh, I do have this all wrong. Okay, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Bad investigator. Okay. <clears throat> this still adds up then. Hyun Ryang is female. Okay. Uh... And the dead body, also female. Okay, okay, so this still tracks. They, they, they could have been in a relationship. I was thinking if the letters were going to Hyun Ryang, starting it off with Hi Beautiful felt not unheard of, but a little bit off if Hyun Ryang was male. I had that wrong. Okay, so they're both female. We need to confirm whether or not the dead body, though, is Seo Hyun So. If we can do that, I think, crime of passion, Hyun Ryang was outed for cheating, and because they couldn't handle the truth, they murdered their partner for discovering the fact that they wanted to leave the relationship. Yeah, let's see if we can fingerprint the computer. Good call. What if it's just my fingerprints? Fingerprint type A. Type C, okay. So type B is the random person at the laundromat. That doesn't matter. We want to try and find type C. But we also need to get the password for... So. Right, we need... We don't have So's password yet. That we need to find. Okay. 
Although we know that Riang is alive. My number one suspect right now is Riang. Nothing in the bathroom. Thank you, kind sir. There's no shadow of doubt about the mystery of the status of my subscription. I'll buy a cheese monkey. Thank you very much for 13 months. He had a reservation email on the PC. Okay, good call. Let's just check it one more time. I didn't go through every email. I should have checked more of them. Your reservation. Dear customer, I am delighted to confirm your rolling reservation at Swan Dining Car. We look forward to you. This was also on January 1st. Quest of your help. Wait a minute. This is from So. So was going to leave town. I believe in you. Don't bring them down. Ah, this is... If the dead body is not So... Then that's going to throw me for a loop. <gasps> it is. It is. We got the dead body. Seo Hyun So confirmed is the victim. So that much we have confirmed. It's got to be Hyun Riang. The next thing we want to search for, Riang's manufacturing. We got to get to his place of work. There's got to be more there, the murder weapon or something. I'm going to continue searching this apartment a little bit longer. But that's huge. Massive find. I'm also going to take her cash. <laughs> she doesn't need it anymore, right? Thank you, kind sir. Shotgun? Damn. Search the wastebasket. No. Shotgun wasn't the murder weapon. Matchbook. Do we have a work ID for Hyun Riang? Okay, but no, we don't have a fingerprint. You know what we could do? Uh, we could go to Hyun Riang's place of work. I gotta check this one more time. Xiao Hyun So. What does that say? Puta Pina? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Puta an insult? We have a lot of information on her, though. Job title, office manager. What was the job title of Riang? Floor manager. Workplace, Augustus Inc. Workplace. They had jobs at different places. Got all I need from here. Piss off, officer. I'm better at your job than you are. Thank you, kind sir. Boop, boop. Puta Pina translates to pineapple sl- <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. We've got some... We've got some good progress here. Go, this game is really cool. I'm loving this so far. Uh, Hybrid Pie, thank you very much for four months. Frogsy, thank you for four months. God. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Hybrid Pie, thank you for gifting five to the channel. Very kind of you. Uh, and Frogsy, thank you as well for the Prime. Thank you for four months. 
Hybrid Pie, very kind of you. I'm gonna need to go refill my coffee. I really, I, I, I've been putting cream, sugar-free cream. You may not have committed a crime, but tracking your footsteps like, oh, are those mine? No, they're not my footsteps. You, put them up. <laughs> Calm down. How dare you track your muddy footsteps into this lobby? You know what? Let's just ask if they know. I'm not telling you. Okay, okay. We gotta find one person that knows something about these people. You, you work the front desk. She gave me her name right away. Serena from Queensmount Hotel. I'm not telling you. Come on. I don't have enough money to just bribe you. You know what? I have my camera. Put that down. It's a camera. I'm going into the bathroom to do my job. Oh, oh, okay, that's illegal. Do they think this is a gun? <laughs> it's just a camera, relax. Ah, the bathroom. Perfect. I'm here to, I need to make some cash. Okay, so what is all this graffiti? This bathroom is a travesty. What? This camera stinks. What kind of FOV is that? <gasps> oh, we can actually use the camera to put. Wow, we can actually use the camera to take snapshots and throw it on the case board. That's awesome. How come I didn't get paid? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to open it up. Wait, oh, it's the basement's flooded? I just walked in sewage. Who is in charge of this hotel? Okay, I gotta take a bath. How do I do that? Can I wash in the sink? I know I'm stinky. I feel like this means that if I try to get information out of people, they won't want to talk to me because I smell like shit. I don't remember what I was saying about my coffee, but I've been having it with sugar-free cream lately, but for the purposes of immersing myself in the detective world, I feel like I need to go get the, a really strong black coffee, piping hot. I'm thirsty. Weapons locker. Oh, I can get handcuffs out of here, I bet. I have 400. Oh, I guess I am making some money. Some handcuffs. All right, next order of business. Let's find Riang's manufacturing. Nobody's gonna wanna talk to us there. Especially because we smell like dung. You don't get your own apart. You get your own apartment, I think, if you start in story mode. I decided to start in sandbox mode. Ooh, laundromat. I bet this is where I can do it, right? Wash my clothes here? Eh, probably not. Gosh, this game is terrifying. I'm always getting in trouble. Stick to the task at hand and just get to Riang's manufacturing.
This kind of looks like Skyrim. <laughs> kind of looks like we're at Windhelm, doesn't it? That looks really cool, though. That looks so good. All right, it's clearly going to be trespassing the second I walk in here, isn't it? Perhaps not. That looks like blood. It's possible it's not, though. Ooh. Okay, there's certainly cameras throughout the place, but not as many as I thought there would have been. And they left the place unlocked. Oh, this is kind of terrifying to walk around. Manufacturing canteen. Oh yeah. Lots of cameras around this place. I could probably hit the breaker box. Let's do it. Oh shit. There's someone here? No way! Why is there someone here? <gasps> oh! There's actually quite a few people in there. I'm leaving. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not even here. I wasn't even here. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, they're gonna turn on the lights, aren't they? Don't touch the light. Ah, oh, shit. I think we're in the clear. Let's get in the air vent first. Just to sort of see what kind of... What kind of map we have while we're in the vents. Where am I? Ah, here's me. Okay, I'm, wait, no, that's not me, is it? That's the Queensmount Hotel. Yeah, that is not manufacturing. Okay, here I am. I'm in here. It looks like this, if we want to, this can get us outside. There's a phone in here, power room. That locker, that locker right behind us might be one of the better ones. I don't know if I have enough lock picks to do this. Telephone router, what? Oh, the call logs. Incoming calls from Ring's manufacturing. None? Nothing? Zero evidence. No, come on, there's gotta be more here. Damn, that only leaves me with two more lockpicks. Here we go. 
We got something here. To all employees, there we go. To all employees, the door code to my office has been reset to 0574 regards, Hyun Riang. Okay, his office is in here. Employee photo, Hiroto Ono, Gabriel Collins, Hyun Riang. We already have a picture of Riang. We already know that. But still, let's throw that on the board. Need to find his office. Machinery. And we can turn all that on. Wait, where would his office be in here? Office, office, office. Employee lockers. I bet his locker has the same password. 0574. Of course it did. I'm gonna take your cash, you murdering scumbag. Get out of here. Oh, no. They don't see me. They did not see me. Oh, no. No, no, not now. Thank you, Kyle. The camera sir. sees me. Hey, Jube. What should we name the stream, baby? Oh, shit, shit. Wrong bathroom, wrong bathroom. Ow! No! Ow, 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 ow. I actually got shot there. Go, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of my way. They chasing me still? Damn it. I gotta get into his office. I'm going back. We gotta get into his office. Uh, we should name the stream baby Riang. So that, uh, so that the stream baby can grow up to not be a murderer. Right, I'll be back in two seconds, chat. I gotta run to the bathroom. <clears throat> it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of hard, but you kind of have to just like, you know, immerse yourself. It's a, it's very fun for like that experience. I'm really enjoying it. I'll be back in a second. Hold on. Hold on, I forgot my coffee mug.
Thank you all. Thank you, kind sir. Huge. Hugh Jane. Thank you very much for the prime. Is in his office right next to the telephone room. <clears throat> we'll have to see. Did I change my pants? No. I'm wear I'm literally wearing jammies today. I'm wearing sweatpants. I'm wearing house shoes. I'm wearing uh, flopping house shoes. I'm wearing my comfy, cozy sweater. I'm investigating a crime. My case board looks like a mess. Look at this. I know you did it. <clears throat> so the way the game works is I could, if I wanted to, we could go into resolve. We could just put Thank in the name of the killer. Sir. You just want to say your streams and VODs are always top notch and you are an absolute gentle meme and a scholar. Thank you. Sarkin, I appreciate that. Thank you for 10 months. Change some of the colors, make the case board nice. You're right, they're all purple. How do I do that? Happy cozy, jammies Sunday. Here's some change I found under the couch. <clears throat> Couple, I appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, oh, we can go in here. Oh, we can cross stuff out. So cool. So, so, so cool. It's kind of funny. Did uh, So did anybody in chat play Alan Wake 2? Alan Wake 2, for at least Saga's portion of the game, uses kind of a similar case board way of, really it's a narrative thing. It's really, really great. I loved it so much. It's, a, it's really a narrative way to help you keep track of the mystery as it develops. No spoilers, no spoilers. Um, but it is cool that this game so shortly after it seems to have a very similar mechanic, but it's sandbox and you create the evidence and you, you are obsessed. I am obsessed with it. Mainly because like a sequel that was, you know, such a long wait that I never even thought would happen being as good as it was. Confirmed. Yeah, they confirmed. They stole it. All right, I'm a little bit hungry. Is there a vending machine? Coffee. Ah, oh, perfect. Give me a coffee. Oh, this is so immersive. in the game. Fuck this coffee. <laughs> Fuck this coffee. The case isn't going well. I gotta figure it out before the case goes cold. Donut? Hot dog. It's an American classic. What kind of a shitty hot dog is that? Mmm. Am I eating it or am I... Okay, I guess I'm done with the hot dog. Wait, hold on, who was that? Oh no, I should have talked to him before they went in. Looks like there's nobody in the canteen room. Oh, it's still... Wait, let's knock on the door? I got an idea. I can't knock on the door. Perhaps I could knock on the door. You. I 
I work with them. That's Hyun Riang. Okay, okay. Loves music. Saw them about Queens Mountain Hotel. That's just where they lived. Saw them about Queens Mount Hotel. <clears throat> no other information on them, though. I'll just ask him for some money. All right, fine. All right, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Nice, good shout out. Whoever in chat mentioned that there was an air vent outside. Thank you. Now we need to figure out where the office is. I wonder if they heard me there. Power room. It doesn't really specify which room is which. We know that that's a bathroom. This could be the office. I'm gonna follow this all the way to the other end. Oh, they smelled me. Oh, they can smell me. <laughs> oh no, I smell like garbage. Sneaking around, covered in slime. It doesn't matter, help me rhyme. Seriously, I can't figure out how to end it. Okay, this places us just outside of what I think is the office. No, certainly not. Here we go. Type C. We got the fingerprints. We know for a fact that Hyun uh, Riang was at the apartment. Too quiet, will not progress, has a strong work ethic and the desire to succeed. Always conversing about sports, smoker. Where are they though? Hours, 0.30 to 11, Thursday through Saturday. So they're not working today. Where do they live? We got more info on them. But we need to figure out where they live. Any details we can get. 1101 Queens Mount Hotel. They're probably home right now. Got to get back to the Queens Mount. They didn't live with Xiao Hyun So, did they? Oh crap, we were in? Wait a minute. If the dead body is Xiao Hyun So and the murder occurred. At Hya Hyun Rang's place, where the hell are they? They're absolutely the murderer. The office right next to the telephone Thank room. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you very much. Good call. I appreciate it. Thank you. We need to figure out where they go. Same password, of course. Ooh, diamond. Key for Riang's manufacturing.
Whoa. Oh, wow. My bounty is really high. Our potential bounty. Surveillance, mail, employee database, security. Let's see if we can get all these just turned off. We knew all that info. Looks like this is all the same. You have a match. Friends at V Love, nothing there. This is all the same mail as before. Don't know if we'll find any new information here. Unfortunately, I don't think we're getting anything else there. Lots of tobacco. In line with them being a smoker. No, uh, So was supposed to be going on vacation. The victim was supposed to be leaving. We gotta figure out where they are. Saw them somewhere around near Ran- No, you didn't! You didn't, though! They're not here! Saw them somewhere around Ye building. We know they did it. But I want to find them on my own. That's what I was thinking. Does V-Love have an office? Probably a directory. Uh, I don't have the directory in here. I should... We need to find a phone booth. The phone booth should have the directory. Nothing in here about V, love. What about Riang? I'm not going to find any more information on Riang here. Possibly so. Eleven oh one Queensmouth Hotel. Well, then wait a minute. Maybe we have the wrong address on Riang, unless they did live together. Eleven oh one Queens. They lived together. They were partners. Crime of passion. All that makes sense. We could try calling them four six four two six five six four two four two six five six four two. That's gonna be hard to remember. Someone put that in chat. <laughs> four two six. Five, six, four, two. Four, two, six. Five, six, four, two. I'll we'll give you money for your name. Hello, I'm what? OK, 
Okay, that led nowhere. Damn it, I feel like I'm running into a dead end. What evidence do we have? We have the fingerprint. I guess I don't technically have Hyun Ryang's exact fingerprint. All we have is the fingerprint C matching both locations, which is kind of obvious given that they've used both computers. So that doesn't give us enough. You can put sticky notes on the case board? If you check the lead on the business card. Didn't have what it takes. Promote me. They must be worthy. Where the hell they're hiding at? They were killed on a Monday. This is so tough. Maybe I need to go back to the... Can you track down who he matched with on the dating app? No, the dating app was, uh, it was strange. I don't know if I saved the message. Yeah, actually, I have it right here. No, 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 this is not it. I need to warm up. I might go back to their apartment. So the dating app never gave an actual name. It just said that it was like their first name. I need to break into this. Can I get their fingerprints at City Hall? It's not really a bad idea. No, that's useless. It was shaking because my character was really cold. I think that I think it makes you really easy to spot. The doctor might have some info. Get off the computer. I'm taking it. <laughs> it's mine now. Government database. Oh, am I just allowed to go in here? Yang, there you are. There we go. We have confirmed their fingerprints as type C. So 
So now, I mean, we have almost all information we need on them. She's going down. Uh, might as well print off what we know about Xiao Hyun So as well. That just gives us more information on them. All with the same... I mean, we basically have all the information on the killer. We just don't know where they're at. We are still stinky. We're still stinky. I'm not too worried about my stench, though. Now this bathroom is just horrible But I need cash Do I get money from that? I think I might have Oh, not again. Not again. Another one. Get down from there. I really want to find the killer. I mean, we know that it's them, but I want to find where they're at. I'm taking pictures of bathrooms because I'm technically a bathroom inspector. It's a side job that I have. Uh, Farmer Bald Spot, thank you very much for three months. I'm gonna pay them just to see. No, they're not gonna know anything good. I'm going in. going in again. Nope, let's not do that. Murder weapon's gotta be somewhere in here. Just some more information, something that I might have missed. Entry wound. We already got that. No wallet. No fingerprints on the body. Okay, we know we have Ryang's fingerprints in here. Both of them in this room. Murder weapons gotta be in this house. I'm finding it. Let's get that dating email again. From Dove. Uh, 
Ah! Okay! We have something here. This person, Jaleza Skinner. You, my friend, are on the board. You are a person of interest. We don't know anything about them, but from the city directory, we can probably find where they're at. You fucked up. Reservation from unknown. Ying Tai Pan. That looks like that was. Okay, we at least got some more information, something decent. No murder weapon. Augustus Inc. We already know about her workplace. Footprints. Ooh, a shower. Can I clean up in here? Ah, there we go. All right, all right. Let's get rid of the stink. I think I'm cleaned up now. So messed up. Yeah, don't mind me, Chief. Uh, I'm just gonna hop in the shower real quick. Dry off. No hidden vents in this house. Why do they have an automatic turret on their ceiling? That's a lot of, uh, a lot of extra security. A lot of nothing. I'm just still so convinced there's gonna be one thing in here. Have you checked the radiator in the bathroom? Um, I haven't. I can double check it. Ring? It's probably valuable. Oh, we got her password. 40807. Let's go check the victim's email. We haven't been able to do that yet. Ah, oh, crap. I already forgot what it was. 4807. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Madalena, real quick question. Can you send me your team stats for this year's safety incidents? You can include explosions, collapses, and depressurizations, but don't bother with the dismemberments. Okay, so... <laughs> illicit activities. Tran, it's come to my attention that you've been running an office gambling ring on the side. Very amusing little racket, I must say. However, tragically, you've been caught out kindly either cease and desist or be a little whoa 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 we have an alibi here so so looks like give me that give me that hold on this could be a this could be a huge development in the case <sighs> oh, i need i need a whole entire pack of cigarettes now Olive Tran. 
new person of interest. Hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's keep going. You have a match. Hi, Madalena. I'm just going to lay it out. Yes, I saw that we matched on V-Love last night. Yes, I think it's a cruncher error. Let's just never mention this again, shall we? The images in particular. Thanks. So they're swingers. Maybe? It, okay, it looks like so matched. Okay, oh man. It, oh my god, my original theory just went out the window. It doesn't look like either of them was cheating, but then where is Riang? Why is Riang missing? Okay, so heard from outgoing accounts, you're not getting paid on time, sounds rough. If it keeps up, please don't hesitate to bother somebody else. I'm busy. Wait a minute, what was that note we found before? The business card. Didn't have what it takes. Promote me. They must be worthy. Something about a promotion. So looks like they have... About later. Hi, beautiful. Okay, this is their message to Riang. They're doing a lot of communication with Madalena. I've noticed you called in sick on the 8th, 13th, 21st, and 29th of last month. I cannot help but notice that these corresponded exactly with the Starch Cola Sugar Birds home games. I have my eye on the schedule from now on. All right, Sosa. I've had it with your slacking off. Why do I have to keep hearing you whine about going home and eating lunch? We are here to do our jobs. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I've been investigating the wrong person this whole time. So we have two people. We have Madeline Sosa, and we have Olive Tran. Olive Tran looks like they were running some kind of gambling ring out of their work. Madalena looks like she was scorned by not getting a raise. And it kind of looks in here. The business card, something about a promotion. Starts to add up a little bit. need to check the city directory for both Madeline Sosa S -s 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 there's Olive Tran wait no 101 Queens Mount that's not what we want how do I remove something <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it over there Oh, wait, that's their address. 101 Queensmont Hotel. So all of Tran lives in the same building. I was thinking it was 1101. That's the apartment we're in right now. Now we need Sosa. Madeline Sosa. 201 Vargas Tower. I'm running out of room on the case board. We've got Olive Tran in the exact same building. So let's go talk to them first. They're on the first floor. Ah, this is all becoming too much. Madalena was the one looking for a promotion. Madalena was scorned by a promotion. Olive Tran had a gambling ring going on at work. One oh two. One oh three. One oh one's on the other side.
time is it? Oh, it's almost four in the morning. <laughs> Here we go. This is going to be Olive. Finally, somebody that has some kind of correspondence with the victim. Put your clothes on, ma'am. Evening, what's your name? What a strange question to ask somebody in their underwear at four in the morning. Olive Tran. Okay. They seem pretty open. Do you know Xiao Hian So? Yeah, that's my colleague, Xiao Hian So. Right, we know that. They work at Augustus Inc. I saw them at 1101 Queensmount Hotel on Monday around 7.45 p.m. So you were in... <gasps> when did they die? Seven p. Wait, 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 wait. What, what did she just say? Can you repeat that? Can you say all that one more time, please? That's my colleague. I saw them at their home around 7.45 p.m. So that would be 15.45 on Monday. She's lying. She's claiming that she saw them after her death, which we have placed between 5.45 p.m. and 7 p.m. on Monday. Ooh. Can I come in and take a look around? Whoa, she doesn't mind. Let's ask another question. Do you know Madeline Sosa? I work with them. That's Madalena Sosa. Okay. All right. Olive Tran seems really open. Always talking about baseball. Going to the baseball games. She was skipping work. Saw them around Vargas Towers. Okay, we know that that's where Madalena lives. Let's see if she'll give fingerprints. I doubt it. Olive Tran is way too open right now. They're letting me into the house. I'm coming in. If you have any free money, I'm probably going to take that as well. Let's get these lights turned on. Uh, that's her purse. Shopping list. Imagine if we just found the murder weapon in her house. No, it's probably not going to be her. But if she's going to let me take a look around, I'm going to take advantage of it. Don't mind me. What do you got in here? Credit card. Whoa. Hey, we got her credit card information. Let's throw that on the board. You know, doesn't really help out the investigation all that much, but I'm taking it. How would you just let this person into your house? All right, that's just the employment contract proving that they work for Augustus Inc. We already knew that. Extra lockpick. Take a picture, it'll last longer? Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, caught in the act. Taking a shit on company time, I see. Lying about when you encountered the victim. Oh god, we gotta go. <laughs> gotta get out of here. I'm leaving. Oh, wait, is that the murder knife? Put the knife down. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not afraid of you, Olive Tran. Just admit to it. You got caught with a gambling ring. That's the murder. That's gotta be the murder weapon. Ow, ow. Oh, I'm bleeding. I need a bandage. God, I've been stabbed. <laughs> I've been stabbed. There's a murderer on the loose. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just acting in self-defense. I doubt I'll bleed out. I only got hit once. All right, we need to find Madeline Sosa. 201 Vargas Towers. That's where I'll go next. How do 
do I sell this? I need to sell that diamond. Second floor, it shouldn't be too far. 201. Ooh, that was wild. I'm still bleeding. Oh god, I'm bleeding on her doorstep. <laughs> Ma'am, can I come in, please? I'm bleeding out. Your employee stabbed me. Small house. What's your name? Nothing. Ah, she's not going to give up any info. Yeah, that's my colleague, Xiao Hyun So. Uh, I think your tea is done. What if you give them the diamond? It seems like it's worth a lot. No, let's not do that. Oh, I can't bear listening to that noise anymore. Can I come in and turn that off? No, I need her to let me inside. All right, she's gonna let me in. Now that that's it, I'm just walking around bleeding all over her kitchen. Uh, ma'am, you got any bandages? Really struggling over here. Oh <laughs> man, this is all over. All right, Madalena, where is the murder weapon? Is that a skull? Unidentified. Why do you have? Oh, it's totally her. You're totally the murderer. Fingerprint type D. I've let I, I've let this entire investigation get so out of hand. At this point, I got no clue who did it. Wait. Taxi! Taxi! When we talk, people listen. Responsible, reliable, real time. Wait, you every gotta give me your name. Every day. Candor News. City living, getting you down, need a bit of fizz to take you higher. Madalena Sosa. Okay, we just had to confirm that it was her. It's great for home, work, and play, giving you the sparkle you need to succeed. Wait a minute, there's a phone number to call. There's a phone number to call that gives you the... She's got an address book. That gives you the phone records. I'm still bleeding. Oh god, I'm leaving more evidence. <laughs> it's all over her house. Murder weapon. Come on, there's gotta be a bloody knife somewhere in here. I should have checked the trash. No. Oh, now I'm stinky again. 
Ma'am, I gotta use your shower real quick. The people in this town are actually kind of nice, all things considered. I'm even so rude, I'll just leave the shower on. Leave it running. Got her wallet? Ah, oh, nice it is. And her credit card information. feeling a little bit lost though oh me. no passcode shouldn't be too hard to find the passcode though doctor's prescription Thank you, beta blockers, sir. insulin. Well done, contaminating every bit of evidence. <laughs> Thank you. Tenancy agreement. We got bank statements. White Run Tax Revenue Service. I forgot we named the town White Run. VLUB subscription top up. So she was subscribed to V-Love, and she did match with her boss, I believe. Birth certificate. Who are you? Oh, oh same person. Ma'am, do you mind telling me the uh, password to your computer? It could really help the investigation. Soap. I'm still bleeding. I hope I don't pass out in her place. Please do not turn the lights off in your own home. Okay? Gosh. It's so disrespectful. Not what I need. <gasps> Bandage! What can I drop? Wait, ah, damn it! Drop it over here. I wanna grab the disc. The disc! I'm gonna sleep in her bed. <laughs> Can I just sleep in her bed? Uh, one thing that I need to check that would probably help us out. I feel like I have to talk to Riang. Right? Like. Oh, true. The key. Well, the key in her purse. I don't think that would open up the safe. I think that would just open up the door. Get up for now. Oh my gosh, how much synth milk do you have to drink? It's all synth milk. That I've never seen somebody drink that much milk. That's an absurd amount of milk to be drinking. Okay, we'll shower real quick again. Oh, I have no clue. I mean, I don't think it's her. She does have a skull. 
Why would you have a human skull decorating your kitchen? Check the skull for fingerprints. Not a bad idea. No fingerprints. You know, maybe I'm overthinking this. The only fingerprints that I found at the scene of the crime were Riang's. Really? You're going to lock me out? You're going to lock me into your... Okay, you know what? Now I am stealing your key. I wasn't going to at first, but now I'm going. Now I am. Where's, it? Where's your purse? Ah, oh, crap. I don't remember where her purse was. I thought it was in the kitchen. Does it anybody remember where her purse was? Damn, yeah, maybe she did take it. Unfortunately, yeah, chat, we're on the same, we're on the same case. I'm not wasting lockpicks. The route of the tea kettle. Oh, that thing was annoying. I'm glad I tossed it out the window. Alright, I've hit a dead end with this case. Sugar Daddy, is that a snack? Can I eat it? I need another vending machine hot dog. Well, uh, Lolo Lols, what you could do is you could just accuse someone without fully arresting them. I feel like at this point, I probably should. Uh, Skyrim, I appreciate it. Thank you for the eight months. Do you need to sleep? I think you do at a certain point. I'm not sure, though. Like, these were all kind of dead ends. <laughs> the smoking gun evidence of us finding one of the suspects taking a shit. Only a psychopath would shit with their clothes on. Only a real sick person. I'm gonna check one more time. Their work hours are Thursday. They're not working. They're not working. They're not home. They're nowhere to be found. It's gotta be Hayun. Uh, but they don't have an alibi. They're only, a like, we ruled out the alibi because both partners in this couple were using the dating website. We, we ruled the, I feel like we ruled that out. Olive Tran and Madalena Sosa both have, you know what, I'm gonna go beat the shit out of Olive Tran. I don't care. I don't care if I get stabbed. I'm arresting them. It's just a gut instinct. Sometimes.
Sometimes on a case, you gotta make a gut call. I can't look past the obvious. Type E thumbprint. Ah, but hold on, that throws me off again though. Olive Tran was really open to getting fingerprinted, to giving us all the information. Hyun Ryang is nowhere to be seen. Check security cams at the places of murder. I guess, yeah, let's try and check security cams at the Queensmont Hotel. Get off the computer. Play database. Off. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Can you log back in for me? Eleven oh one. Got to be a way to check the security cameras here. Hey, it looks like they figured out the, uh, the flooded bathrooms, the flooded basement. Or not. Nope, no, they indeed have not. Find a room with this with the camera on the door. That's Oh, 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 okay. I know what you're saying. Well, let's take one more look around. It's gotta be somewhere around the lobby, wouldn't you think? We're in. Hotel kitchen. Second floor. First floor, 11th floor. Everyone. How can I check the date? Here we go. First floor landing, 11th floor landing, Monday. Oh my goodness, this game is amazing. How far back does it go? The police are already there at this point. It's gotta go further back, come on. Six oh nine. We have to catch somebody leaving, right? Who is that? <laughs> Olive Tran.
murdering scumbag. Now, answer the question. Who's that? What was that? Your worst nightmare. I'm arresting you. Took you long enough! Why did you commit it? Why did you do it? Why did you do it, Olive? You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. I know you, you sick bastard! This is why you shit with clothes on! Got any spare change? Could use a couple bucks. <laughs> she gave me them! Nice! Alright, thank you. Good luck. Hey, I appreciate it. You know, I kind of want to just let her go. Search. She's got to have the murder weapon. Murder weapon acquired! Give me that. Give me that. Give me it. Give me it right now. Um, hold on. I need to... We need to take this knife. This is the murder weapon. There it is. Resolve. You located the murder weapon. Oh yeah. Boom. Utility knife. Right there. Arrest the killer. Done. I'm turning this case in. Oh man, can I just... Can I... Can, can, I, can I kill the killer? <laughs> The real crime occurred right here, though. Ooh, also, wait. Say cheese. Why is she standing? Locked? Don't, how could you lock me in here? I need to get out. Let me out. Fine, I'll waste lock picks. It still says I'm being pursued. Alarm? Wait, why? Toxic gas? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm going to... Case submitted for processing. Please wait for results. Boom, boom. What, what do you mean? That's evidence. Okay, I mean, we got four out of five, but I feel like the security camera picture was the perfect evidence of... Whatever. Look at all that cash. Look at my social credit. <laughs> Is that the experience level in this game? Your social credit? Thank you, kind sir. Oh, whoa, what's this? Magica, how are you? Or Magikarp? Is it Magica RPG or Magikarp? Now you can get some new tools. Bloodhound Tracker. Planted on a citizen to track their movement via the map. A flash grenade? Incapacitor grenade. Ballistic armor. I don't need that. I'm a real detective. I don't need any of that nonsense. What I need right now, though, is a hot dog. I'm hungry. Oh, the alarms are still going off in that building. I don't understand why I'm the bad guy. Uh, I guess I do need new handcuffs. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then I'll get some. Hey, what's on the menu? Ooh, fried chicken? Give me that. Hell yeah. And a donut. Oh, inventory's full? Never mind. Ah, I'm a good cop! Ah, I'm a good 
up. That seems like a little bit of an overreaction to getting hit with fried chicken. Ow. <laughs> Is that really how I die? Come on. Really? I threw KFC at you and you murder me. If I got KFC thrown at me, I'd be so happy. Like, oh my God, what do I do with all these extra carbs? Uh, uh, I'm a good cop. I'm a damn good cop. Attempt to escape without paying medical fees. <laughs> No, it's okay. I'll pay the fine. European KFC is trash, so I understand his reaction. You know, if this was a real noir film, I would be waking up with my partner at the bed, waiting for me, sitting there. You did a good job, Chief. You did a good job. You took one for the team. But you protected people. You saved lives. Now oh, fuck it, I'm going to sleep. I'm sleeping until noon. Oh, that's wild. It still just simulates the world. I mean, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. Uh. <sighs> mm. All right. Whew, what a wild end to that first case. Ow. Ooh, okay, that didn't kill me. That'd be really funny if I just died right away. Let's get some handcuffs. Probably all I need right now. How do I sell something? Because I've got this really valuable gem in my inventory. I'll need a new case soon. But for now... Case closed. Book icon on the map. Beautiful. Thank you, chat. I'm honestly really pumped that we got the killer. What are they closed? Open. It looks like Star Wars alphabet. Are they really not open till like midnight? There's got to be another pawnbroker somewhere. Surely. No? Oh, there's only one. It doesn't tell me what hour they open. Well, there's bound to be another murder somewhere. People with experience of this game, will the next murder just randomly happen and then the game will let me know? Or...
Murders happen roughly every 24 hours. All right, so we'll have to look for another job. Okay, all right. Work available for a discreet individual. I would not describe myself as discreet. Business-related concerns require investigation. Significant fee available for the right person. Financial compensation, 1600 Let's do it. Oh, wait, we also have another job. There's two jobs. What about this one? IOTA Enforcer Division. Handcuffs required. Suspect may be armed and dangerous. Easy, easy, easy. Suspect details available on acceptance. Green eyes. Black market trader. We don't know a whole lot about him. We have a phone number, though. I think we tried to call this one before. 569-1881. Might as well just track this down and see what we can figure out. Do you have Twitch? Uh, I think so. I could try to turn it on. Will I have to like reload my save? Let me save first. Settings. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, it's streaming. Let's see. Okay, I just did enable Twitch audience citizens. Last updated with audience audience names, 122 out of 124. I have no idea what it's going to do. So if I just like talk to this person and I ask them for their name. Mind your own business. Okay, which one of you is it? I'm Omari Frierson. That's not a Twitch. No. Unless that's somebody in my Twitch chat. As if I tell you. Why are you all so rude to me? Check the phone book. Oh my gosh. Wait. Yeah, you guys are in here. Lily of the Valleys, there's Chatter. Lyric. Maddie Slaves, yeah, there's definitely people in there. Yeah, let's see if Jabo's in here. Jabo, you in here? <laughs> Jabo's in here. I wonder when it like grabs people. All right, Space Lemons, let's see if you're in here. Stickman? Uku? That's pretty wild. Hunt down Jabba. All right, let's go find Jabba. Let's just go see where he's at. You're in Vargas Towers, 402. What if we just caught them in the middle of committing a crime?
402 Vargas Towers. I'm not going to kill him, <laughs> you psychos. I will be arresting him, though. Ah, oh, he's got no clothes on. <laughs> All right, for the crime of public indecency, you're under arrest. After, as if I tell you. No, just tell me your name. I'm Jamie Abolito. Oh, that's not Jabo. Or... Did it, does it take the name and, like, create a name out of it? Because, like, Jamie Abolito... Oh, Abolito, that's you! <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so maybe you have roommates. All right, let me look around your place. Ciao. Let me in. Turn on these lights. This place is a mess. Oh, don't ever scare me like that. Why are you dressed like a cowboy now? <laughs> the noise it makes. Dun dun. Like it's so intense. Uh oh. Uh, Jamie's pissed. Wait, you said I could look around your place. Hold on, where's Javo? We gotta find him. Is he in here? Ow! Ow! Ah, oh, he broke my leg! <laughs> oh, is that a hammer? I'm all right. I'm okay. I need a splint, though. I'm not even an investigator anymore. What do you got on you, Jamie? Hammer. There's the murder weapon. No wallet. Packs it all? Is that like painkillers? There we go. We got rid of the pain. Let's just take some more. How much packs it all do I have? I'm feeling good. I'm gonna keep doing this till my broken leg is <laughs> doesn't feel broken anymore. What we got there? Booze up there. This game's awesome. You can commit so many crimes. Ruby Choice, Gem Stetter. I don't know. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want. Inventory full. All right, I guess I'll get rid of the packs at all for now. Let's take the vodka. I can't run until my leg heals. You don't know how stressful that last murder investigation was, okay? All right. Oh, let's pull a little prank, though. Yeah. I wonder what happens. Ooh, don't let the camera see ya. 
Do not let the mounted machine guns take fire. I didn't need to find the doctor. Yeah. Oh god, not again. Oh, this game's awesome. This is all I've ever wanted from GTA. Who's got a gun? Hey! Why are they killing each other? Don't shoot me. Shoot each other. Oh! oh! <laughs> I'm backing off. I'm backing away. <laughs> what? Good riddance. Thank you. Thank you for defending me. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know if they're okay. Where'd my booze go? Oh, they're alive? Oh my god, you're a tank. Hey. You okay? I'm Cole France. What's it to you? Cole. You okay? How did they survive? Oh. I need to find the doctor. Where are they? Doc. Uh, what's the doctor's number? Looks like a doctor. Drugstore. Right around the corner. I really need a gun. Hey, watch where you're walking, pal. Jeez. Getting tired of all these people. No, I didn't sell the diamond yet. The pawn star wasn't uh, the pawn store wasn't open. Can you ignite buildings in this game? I have no idea. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, we need a splint. Broken leg is fixed. Don't need that bullshit anymore. Excuse me? What? Why does this game have, like, what, what mechanic what requires birth control in this game? Can you get pregnant in this game? Dental floss? Oh, a straight razor. Give me that.
kind of fucking terrifying. <laughs> that was actually so scary. But that was so much fun. Oh my god, I love that game. Really cool. It feels like we just kind of scratched the surface too with a lot of the sandbox stuff and different ways to kind of investigate. So that was really, really cool. Let's uh, stick around for a bit. Let's raid out. Let's send the stream over to somebody. I wonder if anybody is playing it right now. Is there anybody streaming this game right now? Shadows of Doubt. We're number one. Let's go. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Uh, we could do. There's not too many people streaming it right now, and I don't, I don't want to like. Have someone freak out, you know. We should. I definitely do want to play this again, though. This was really, really fun. Uh, two, 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 two. There's a few people I know that are streaming right now. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over. We've got Bulu is playing Cuphead. Kiwo is doing GTA RP. I feel like I raid Kiwo so much, but she is always live all the time. And her streams are great. And I always I always trust her with your uh, or with with my audience. Kiwa's always got something going on. It's always interesting too. It's fun, like di like popping in when she's doing GTA RP and being like, "What the hell is she up to today? Where's the storyline going?" Uh, I'm not sure when I'll be live again. I need to plan out what the next challenge type thing we do will be what the next like series of streams will be i think the next like two are probably going to be skyrim series so i'll let you know i want to try and f uh finish the ask me anything i recorded it yesterday it took like two and a half hours and i'm trying to make it a little bit more high effort than just like me sitting here talking so i'm gonna try and get that finished up might have to push it back a day to tuesday i wanted to have it out monday but we'll see. I'm going to try and have the Chaos Mage video done by Friday. Ideally. Which means it'll probably be out by a week after that point. So we'll see. We'll talk soon. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for hanging out.